Hello everyone, we are back in DCS. Um, so, as you can read by the title, I don't have head tracking anymore. I used to play in VR, but my VR has shit itself. I'm trying to get that sorted. So, I've uh, found a workaround. So, here are the controls I use. So, in pretty much every play it's the same. I'll show you an SC3 plane just so I can navigate it a bit easier. So I've got I do have zoom view on the Hornet because I need it on that, but on the FC3 planes I found I don't need it. Uh just need my yeah. There we go. So a bind plus an axis. I only have the bind on it as well because I don't know if you can see, but it gets jittery when the zoom view is active. Because it's stuck between positions, it's not a very, it's not a very good axis. Let's just say that. Uh, so here we go. I've got. Yes, you might notice I've got a very unbalanced, thing, but you know, it's not a permanent solution. So I've got a bind. This is a button my throttle, and then that plus joy Y, enjoy X. And then I've got, and you notice that they don't never go to 100, they only go about halfway. That's quite design. There. That's what I've got it set to. A bit aggressive, but. And that's just because if you don't touch it, it's just too snappy. Or well, at least for me, if you had a finer find a control you find but the stick that on the extension for the f16 is um it's not that precise i guess so having those curves really help and then padlock padlock just need lock vehicle so when you're in kind of view of the vehicle you can hold down padlock for me, it's the paddle switch on the F16 when it's held in, it's button 8 when it's released at the button 7. So, unlock. so for me, it's really easy to unlock, lock. Uh, I don't know what you what you would do to have unlock and lock at the same button, or have a bind plus your button to unlock for your other sticks that don't have that feature where you let go, pushes a button. Uh, so I've got now the Wing Wing F16 EX stick and on the little extension there's a joystick style mini stick and I use that in the combination with a modifier button on my throttle to look around and I also keep labels on and I'll show you that the FC3 HMDs still work, but the F18 HMD does not work. Oh shit, my stick's not plugged in. Embarrassing. There we go. So I've got to play with labels on uh, Hills Realism a bit, and I know that's a big part of DCS, so it might not be for everyone. But you kind of have to when you don't have head tracking. I use the longitudinal modes a lot as well because it's a bit easier than using the HMD. And although you can still see him here, even without labels, in some cases it's very hard to see without head tracking. You can't, don't really have precise movement. So having the labels helps with like a quick glance. I also use the padlock mode. So when I've got him, when I'm just about ready to pull him on my HUD and I need to keep my eyes on him at all time, I engage the padlock. 
I might be able to do that now. No, I can't do that right now. There we go. And that, as long as I'm holding down the paddler, my guy will move his head in accordance to him. Now, you can't just do this all the time because you'll be. You get lost, basically, when you're in where your aircraft's facing. I ain't done mode, I'm not. Just let them pull out a bit. I don't want to lose too much speed trying to pull them into my HUD. I'll be able to pull them in soon. I've got some speed to play with. Oh, surely he was close there. Got him. Yeah. That's how I use padlock when I'm ready to pull it in the hub. Otherwise, I'm using a stick. Ah, uh, this little mini stick on my benchin and just glancing around. I don't have it, as you can see when I look up, I kind of don't look past the vertical. If I want to look behind me, I look left and right, and I can use the mirrors as well, but I just get very disorientated when I look behind me by looking up. Now, let's load into Black Box 2 fight. And you will get to see how the HMD works. Um, so, the flanker, NATO aircraft, I prefer to use longitudinal missile mode because it locks for you. The flanker is not the case, you have to lock it even once you're in it. Oh. So, I prefer using a HMD. So we'll clear up his missile because he's not a gentleman. He didn't wait for the merge. And then we'll force a one circle. Get this onto him. So what you do is you bring this kind of close and in view. And then you push padlock and then it centers it, lock and fire. So as you can see the um the HMD in the FC3 planes worked very well with the padlock. So you don't have to be as precise, you can bring it close, padlock, and then the HMD will center on the padlock object. Now, if we try the same thing, the F18, I'll show you it doesn't work but luckily the F-18 in the longitudinal mode does auto lock on once it finds a target that's so not too big of a deal I think a HND would still be better but it's really not that bad Ooh, yeah. Right, yeah, missile, um, and to get that longitudinal mode up, you go forward and then aft. Uh, oh, it's already going to board side. Go one circle. So I'll padlock in. You see how it doesn't. Yeah, it's not great. So if I restart this, I'm going to long shoot on it. Oh. And then also, with F-18, when you padlock, you can't really get it back. So just use long shoot on mode in F-18. The FC-3 plans, for some reason, when you snap the camera back, it recenters it. F-18, it doesn't always do that, for some reason. So that's... This gun 
just gone. Alright, never found the shooting on that. I will say, it's really annoying that them using labels, I can see the missile. That's unfortunate. Oh, it looks like he's going to boost it. Oh no, there he is. Uh, where did he go? Yeah. So that locked it for me. It does make it easier. I don't think shot them, but I wanted to see. Aim 9x. With F18, the looking around is just to kind of get a general idea of where they are. You don't need to be idling all the time. So it is very doable. Now we'll do a guns fight with F15 so you can see we kind of need a bit more situational awareness just to prove that. You don't need head track. It is an advantage to have head tracking, don't get me wrong. And not being able to use the HMD and the Hornet does suck, but it is what it is, and you, you can get around it. Oh, that's guns here. Oh. I'm going one circle because I'm against a bot and he'll force the one circle when he's in that ace difficulty no matter what in the flanker so it's no point trying to fight it but I will try and get into the two circle when I can but see look at him look at that bastard but he's not doing too well no, I'm not He'll turn around and force someone to circle again. Yep. See, what all I'm doing is just looking up, getting an idea where he is. It's much easier with the labels on. I want to stay on his six without going too slow. I don't want to pull him into my HUD here. I don't want to lose too much speed. Just trying to force his scissors. He's trying to get me to overshoot. a bit too much, a bit more speed than I would have liked there, so let's try and get that back. Okay, now we're in the right part. And he can see that. Oh, okay, don't pull too hard, don't pull too hard. Let's get, speed, let's get our rate speeds up. Let's get our rate speeds up. Come on. The AI gets a bit stupid when it sees it's losing the rate fight, it just starts the stupid shit. That kind of makes it even easier for you to get on their six. But AI is very good at jinking. Really, you get really close to get a good shot on. Or oh, you have to make sure you've got your nose pointed in the right space as he's jinking so that. Yeah. 
and I had too much here. Banger can take some hits, I'll tell you what. Now he's trying to get me over shoot. Tell you what, the bots are good at letting you get real close and trying to make you overshoot. Oh my god, I'm also just doing a terrible job here. <laughs> there you go, alright. Anyway. But yes. The head tracking isn't required, but I, I mean, it will does make it a lot better having head tracking, but it's not required. Let's just get another example here. Using the HMD. I feel like I feel like I need a better example of using the HMD in the FC3 planes. Didn't present it that well. He may as well have been in my HUD when I used it before. It is unfortunate that I can see the missiles coming. Right, let's try this again. Okay, let's put this one circle. Check D there. Slash. Keep them paddle off. See it. Inside the well. What's going on? Oh, maybe I just didn't have a lock before. Here it is. 